Four years ago, I made a serious mistake, one that brought discredit on me and pain closest to those closest to me. It was a violation of the trust placed in me and a breach of the values to which I'd been committed throughout my life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that, and that was a very sad uh, affair, no pun intended. And joining us now is Jill Kelly, former honorary ambassador for CENTCOM, friend of General David Petraeus, and a uh, woman at the center of the Petraeus scandal who has a brand new book. She self-published it, and it's called Collateral Damage, Petraeus, Power, Politics, and the Abuse of Privacy, The Untold Story. Jill, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's, it's my pleasure. First, I want you to start at the start. Tell people how they could get this book since it's self-published. Usual route or you, a special way? You could go, yes, you can go to Amazon.com or JillKelly.com. Kelly's with an E-Y, K-E-L-L-E-Y. Or Lulu.com. You can go to the normal traditional gotcha. or BarnesandNoble.com. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Now, a, a lot of people are going to sit there and say, oh, she had the affair. No, you, you didn't have the affair with, with General <laughs> Petraeus. You exchanged thousands and thousands of emails with him and, and with others, uh, but the person who was having the affair at the time, and make, correct me if I get anything wrong here, Paula Broadwell, um, she became jealous. She found out about your email exchanges, I guess, or saw them or something, and then um, sent uh, you threatening emails, and you didn't know what was going on. You didn't know who they were coming from, so you reported them, and that started the whole shebang. That's correct. Um, the month prior, it was actually my husband who received the email, but let me go back one month prior so that people have an understanding of what happened. The month previous, uh, which was May of 2012, uh, General Allen, who was the commander of the war at the time, General Mattis, who was the commander of CENCOM at the time, and General Petraeus, who was the director of CIA at the time, um, were all receiving these anonymous emails from a, uh, you know, basically a stalking email with important, confidential, top-secret information of these generals' whereabouts that no one would have privy to. Um, we learned later that she was accessing his emails. Now, remember, she was an ex at the time. Now, nobody knew he had an affair. So when they got these emails, they were obviously very concerned because, as if you read in the book, uh, because I was the honorary ambassador to CENTCOM, um, that month in May, I was having a private dinner with the head of MI6 and General Allen, and because remember, General Allen was going to be nominated for Supreme Right, so, so you were afraid that this was coming from terrorists or somebody who meant exactly. to do you guys harm. There were threats that, you know, when I called General Allen in Afghanistan, because when my husband finally received them, General Allen said, Jill, this is serious. You have three young kids under age nine. You have to go to the FBI. Um, you don't, you know, walk around bodyguards. You, right, you don't right. have the pictures we had. So I did. So what happened was they end up, because the stalker thought I was having an affair with him, again, I don't know why. We've been friends. We're very close family. I'm best friends with his wife. Um, she ended up stalking us. Now, what the FBI did, based on the orders of our politicians, uh, political appointees, let me rephrase that, they went ahead and compromise, the direct, had our director at CIA compromise until after the election. General Petraeus was basically compromised by someone accessing his email, and ha they were having meetings around him. They turned my family's love, life upside down because they wanted to see if I could be having an affair. Rather than protecting me, they wanted to see what dirt I had in my emails, which were none, but then they went ahead anyway and threw me and General Allen's name out there when Congress are demanding answers, when Congress are saying, did the White House know what you see in the book? There, there was knowledge of it. Um, did the White House know about the investigation? Did, was there uh, national security breaches, which there was. That's why General Petraeus had a plea deal. Well, um, who knew what when? And they decided, as in the book, as reported, the White House, the State Department, and the Pentagon came together and they said, Let's throw out Joe Kelly and General Allen out there with a bogus sex scandal. That way, the only way to put out another scandal is start a new one, and they did. And unfortunately, my family's life became a right. living nightmare for these officials. So you were the life. victim, you went to the FBI for help, and you turned into the victim again. It's all in the book. Before I let you go, 
um, if you want to weigh in on this, General Petraeus and, and what the penalty he suffered for, for the, uh, for the uh, email that he, you know, the, the, the inf confidential information uh, that, that he uh, made, shared, if you will, uh, compared to Hillary. Uh, you have any views on that and the ability of the FBI? Do you think that they're going to recommend an indictment on Hillary? Do you have confidence in them? I, I don't. You know why? Only because of one thing. The FBI, even though this new uh, director is, uh, I heard, a very good guy, he has the bosses, and they're the same bosses that did this to General Petraeus and my family. So, no, I don't believe anything negative is going to happen to Hillary because the FBI boss, no matter how good his intentions are to bring justice, he still has bosses in their same government that did this to my family. Yeah, all right. And how do you feel about, uh, so uh, Petraeus uh, suffered the consequences he suffered for much less than what Hillary has done, many would say. You agree with that? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Jill. I, thank you very much again, folks. Thank the book. You too. You're welcome. The book is uh, is called Collateral Damage. You could get it, so pick it up. Give me five is next, folks. Don't go away.